Hello everyone, my name is Naomi. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Or if you've been here already, welcome. Today I'll be introducing a new series on my channel regarding forgiveness. According to Enright, forgiveness is a willingness to abandon one's right to resentment, negative judgment, and indifferent behavior towards one who unjustly hurt us, while fostering the undeserved qualities of compassion, generosity, and even love towards them. This basically means that we're able to let go of the pain someone has caused us and even go beyond the extent of showing them love. To me, forgiveness is having the power or ability to let go. It's both intrapersonal, forgiving yourself, and interpersonal, forgiving those who have hurt you. It's essential for every human to have the ability to forgive because all your negative thoughts about the one who has caused you harm become positive or neutralized. So when you have forgiven and come in contact with the person who has hurt you, you are able to be civilized with them and move on with your life. Relationships have been broken and will continue to break if you don't have the ability to forgive. When your significant other doesn't measure up to their responsibilities or expectations you've set for them, you have to learn to forgive them. At the end of the day, we are all human. No one is going to be perfect at all times. Sometimes people make mistakes and might not even know you're offended by their actions. In this series, we'll take the time to really dissect what it means to forgive and answer many questions, such as the fact that some people have forgiven but still have revenge in their hearts. So have they truly forgiven? And does forgiveness necessarily mean that you have to reconcile afterwards? We're getting older. When a minute passes by, we won't get it back again. We all need to have the desire to forgive and to be forgiven, even to the depth of forgiving a murderer who has hurt your loved one, and also forgiving other races who have oppressed us. There are many people that have missed their opportunity to forgive, and now they have to live with the guilt forever. They've held a grudge against someone for a long time, and now that person is no longer on earth. This has caused bitterness, hatred, and so much more. It has also resulted in psychological, emotional, spiritual, and social effect to that person. Let us all strive to learn how to forgive one another, no matter how deep the pain is. Counselors play a crucial role in helping you feel forgiven by those you have not apologized to, were not able to apologize to, or in forgiving others who you find it difficult to forgive, and so much more. If you find yourself in any of these categories and need someone to talk to, someone to listen to you, or to give you advice, there will be two emails listed down below and in the next slide. One is to contact me and the other is to contact Minister David Nassau. Feel free to reach out to any one of us. Thanks for watching this video and be on the lookout for the upcoming videos. If this video has been helpful to you, there are five quick steps I want you to follow. Number one, give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button down below. Number two, share this video with your friends by copying and pasting the link and to other social media platforms by clicking the share button down below. Number three, hit the red subscribe button. After you subscribe, a notification bell should appear next to that button. Please click on that bell so you won't miss another upload from me. Lastly, I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna hear what you have to say, so comment down below. You can also get access to these videos on my other social media platforms listed at the bottom of the screen and in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.